Okay, today I'm here with Steve, who's our Six Sigma Black Belt trainer, and we're tackling some of the questions we're most commonly asked by our clients. Um, we've talked a bit about Six Sigma already. Um, one of the tools within Six Sigma is root cause analysis, and we quite often run private training sessions just on root cause analysis. A lot of people are a bit confused as to what that is and, and how it can help them. So if you could just give us an overview of what root cause analysis is and how it can help an organisation. Yeah, okay, fine. I mean, in every workplace there are problems and opportunities that arise. And root cause analysis is a very structured method of approaching a problem in the workplace. And basically it's there to make sure that when you've got a problem, instead of jumping to what the cause and the solution might be and putting something in place that maybe doesn't work, doesn't work in the yeah. long run, it's driving down to the root causes, the things that fundamentally cause that problem in the workplace. And so it's doing that by looking at data rather than, I think we've all been in the situation where there's a problem and someone says, I know what. I know yeah, what's wrong with that. Right. They do a quick fix and then yeah. lo and behold, two yeah. months later it's still happening. Yeah. So. It's very much to get around the danger of jumping to causes and jumping to solutions. Yeah. So it's a team-based activity using mm -hmm. a standard set of tools, and most of them are tools from, from lean thinking. Yeah. Use these tools to analyse the problem. So okay. you start off really by making sure you've defined your problem well. Mm -hmm. You then maybe see whether you've got to put any quick fixes in to keep your system running, but be very careful about that because generally you're going to need to go down a level below that in the sure. system. Yeah. Understand the system, understand how that process works in that particular area. Yeah. And then having done that, you can then think about what are the fundamental root causes of that thing happening? Mm -hmm. So you can use things like the fishbone diagram, the logic tree, and other um, easy to use tools in order yeah. to get a good idea of what the fundamental causes of the problems are. Okay. Having done that, you've then got the team together and you need to use the expertise of the team to find solutions mm -hmm. to those problems yeah. so that you come up with ways that you can change the way that you do things that make a sustained improvement in the workplace. Yeah. Stop those solutions ever happening again. Okay. Root cause analysis thinking is really very important. It's something that everybody in the organisation should do, should do. So in a lean organisation, in a Japanese company, you'll very often find that everybody's been trained in root cause analysis. Yeah. They know how to do five whys, they knew, know how not to jump to what the cause is, but to yeah. go through a logical way of doing okay. it. So the root cause analysis training is, a, is typically a two-day training. Yeah. And in that two-day training, we can go through all the ways of thinking and all the tools that you need to use yeah. to solve probably 95% of your workplace right. problems. And if we're doing that on site, we can quite often actually take a real-life problem and, yeah. and get towards solving it during the training. Yeah. In many ways it's best done on site because yeah. then we can actually work on problems that people got in the workplace. If we need any information we can get that and we've found that that's very successful. Yeah. And rather than working with case studies we run the root cause analysis training with people yeah. doing brown paper and flip chart exercises sure. yeah. using real problems that they had in the workplace and getting real solutions to those. Yeah. Great. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks Mike.